Hello, everyone. Welcome back to freepilotgroundschool.ca. This is your last lesson, finally, of Air Law 19, Canadian Aviation Regulations. Uh, you still have a review to go through, your next uh, video to watch, but this is it for new information. If you're still with, with me, uh, thanks so much for putting up with this death by PowerPoint. And uh, I hope that you have learned something about Air Law, gained some appreciation. And I'm really hoping that uh, the future lessons will be a bit more engaging than these if you're not the kind of person that's likes uh, listening to uh, various rules and regulations. Uh, this lesson, we're going to talk about the Transportation Safety Board. Some definitions first an aviation occurrence is any accident or incident associated with the operation of an aircraft, or it could be a situation or condition the board has reasonable grounds to believe could, if left unattended, induce an aircraft accident or incident. Collision means any impact uh, other than an impact associated with normal operating circumstances between aircraft or between aircraft and another object or terrain. Operation means the activities for which an aircraft is used from the time any person boards the aircraft with the intention of flight until they disembark. A risk of collision is a situation in which the aircraft comes so close to being involved in a collision that a threat to the safety of any person, property, or environment exists. Serious injury means any fracture, severe hemorrhage or nerve, muscle, tendon damage, internal organ damage, second or third degree burns to 5% of the body, exposure to infectious substance, injury that requires hospitalization. So this you need to know, if there is an aircraft uh, aviation occurrence, you must notify the Transportation Safety Board. Uh, those numbers are found in the Aeronautical Information Manual 3.3. And here's another one, looks like a metro liner slid off the runway somewhere. So you need to know that uh, you have to protect the occurrence site. So you have to secure evidence except to preserve life, property, and environment. So that means you can't allow passengers to go just take their bags, people go rummage through things, uh, various people start doing things until it is uh, allowed by the Transportation Safety Board. But there are, of course, exceptions if you need to preserve life, property, and the environment, so things like an oil spill. Let's review this. All incidents have to be reported to the Transportation Safety Board as soon as possible. You cannot dis uh, disturb the site except to preserve life, property, and the environment. Accidents must be reported to A, the T Transportation Safety Board, B, the police, C, the aircraft owner, D, ICAO. Well, considering this is titled Transportation Safety Board, let's just say it is a, although the aircraft owner probably wants to know too if you just smashed up his airplane. An aircraft accident has occurred. Which of the following scene disturbances are permissible? A, shutting the valve, fuel valves off to prevent fuel leakage into a river. So yeah, that's protecting the environment. So yeah, that would be correct. B, retrieving valuable passenger belongings. Uh, no. C, cutting into the fuselage to rescue passenger. Yeah, so that goes into uh, preserving life. So that A and C, so that would make E correct, A and C are correct. Thanks for joining me. Our next uh, lesson will be uh, the review. Uh, and that pretty much concludes air law. Thanks for uh, your patience.